Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Monday, January 30th, 2023. And the drunk poker root is beer time. It's 8.30 on a Monday. I got distracted by watching The Last of Us on HBO's Crave, whatever you want to call it there. I'm not a video game guy, but damn, this adaptation or whatever you want to call it is intense. I was sucked in to it, and so, yeah, we've got so many shows in the go. Anyways, from our pals at Bellwoods, our order the other day, I am a big fan of this kind of series. We already talked about it. We did the single hop of Mosaic the other day. Uh, and monogamy. This is double monogamy. This is their double IPA series. <laughs> single hop, because of course. 8% Idaho 7 hops. Idaho 7 hops. So I dig this. I like, because, and I got two cans because it's double monogamy. Is that monogamy if it's double? Because then it's like polyamory? I don't know. You kids today. I don't know what's happening anymore. We do watch Sister Wives, which is the trashiest thing I've ever watched in my life. It is it is a train wreck of... I don't even know anymore why we watch these things. Like, I watch really great stuff, and then I watch stuff like that, and I'm like... Like, I don't watch The Bachelor or anything. You know, I watch good stuff, but sometimes I watch just absolute trash. It smells good. All right, let's get into it. Cheers, my friends. I, I Bellwoods... Yeah, I just fucking love Bellwoods, man. So <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it to you. Cheers. Oh, wow. This is such a nice showcase for this hop. Because this is a big beer, right? This is an intense beer. It's 8%. It's hopped up. It is jacked up. It is a beautiful, creamy, tropical masterpiece of a beer. Absolutely gives you that kind of really shiny kind of red grapefruit in this. And it's big. And it's like peach. Um, is it melon? Not melon. What else is there? Is that pineapple? Maybe? There's a bit of resinous pine here, too. It's it's really nice, though. Like, it's very much a grapefruit, orange, kind of apricot -y, peachy thing. Apricots and peaches. I don't know. I'm going to buy some apricots, because I don't know if I've ever actually had an apricot. Like, probably apricot pudding or something, or, like, puree when I was a kid. That's really good. Damn it. My orangey, peachy grapefruit. But it's just, it's so... Nice and fluffy, and then it's bitter on the back. Pith brings a nice orange pith to it, a little bit of tea like dryness to it there. Um, yeah, like it's, it's great, it's a great showcase, and, and I think that that's why I dig series like this. And I dig that they made a double IPA. Is as much yes as it's great to have the lower ABV beers, as I say. I think I say I have, I have the saying for each, each of this low ABV, it's a really high ABV, everything, but I like them all, man. Like, I like them all, I love having options. And it's funny, like, I've been writing about this thing where I want to talk about how we're having this particular form of nostalgia now for something that was six, five, six years ago for a lot of us. And, man, we thought we had choice in the LCBO then. Remember when it was just, like, it first came out, and you were like, hey, walk in there now. If six years ago, six, seven years ago, me could walk into the LCBO that I get to walk into now, or even just the, the ability to access great beer for delivery, right, just to get order to your house, he would not have believed what had happened. He, he he couldn't envision the future. I mean, a lot of other stuff happened too in that time, which kind of changed the, the game here. But yeah, this is incredible. Great beer. So more Bellwoods to come. I still have a few things left to talk about. Excuse me. Oh. It's a problem when you get up. When Cat wakes you up at 3.30. You get up at 4.30 and then you work all day. And your first beer is at 8.30 at night. Way too late. But we're getting started now because I'm off tomorrow. So... This beer tastes a lot like I ain't going to work tomorrow. Cheers, my friends. Like, I almost want to say it tastes like, almost like nectar. Like, it just, it has this richness to it. And then it's just like this bitterness at the back. And it's so good. So, so good. So good. I don't know. <laughs> 